Yeah, I teach uh, equity and fixed income in the Master of Finance and Banking. Equity fix, and fixed income is a course uh, within this program that I think is, uh, is important because it, uh, it focuses on the market, okay? So uh, markets nowadays, I'm talking about financial markets, uh, I'm talking about fixed income markets and equity markets, are key to understand what is going on in the economy, first of all. So if somebody wants to understand what is happening nowadays, for example, in Europe with, with the debt, uh, what's happening in the United States, you do have to understand interest rates. Secondly, I think it's a course that is uh, very interesting, you know, to understand how to finance a company. Nowadays, banks, of course, are a key player in funding companies, but also you have to take into account bonds, you have to take into account raising uh, stock, debt. So, in that sense, I think it's uh, very important as well. And finally, of course, uh, it is key to manage portfolios. And clearly, uh, there are lots of companies, lots of private people that want to uh, optimize their investments. And these people with this uh, course are able to understand how to finance, how to manage a portfolio. Well, clearly, uh, the finance world nowadays has become pretty complex. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I think that a master that is not only finance, but banking and finance is a very good idea. And it is a very good idea that the students that come to our master come from different nationalities and different backgrounds. Some of them, you know, they know already something about finance and some of them don't know so much, right? Some of them come from Europe, others come from you know, Russia, others comes from Latin America. And I think that, com that combination is great because markets nowadays are global, first of all. Secondly, uh, markets, uh, you know, the complexity of the, how finance works in terms of uh, mathematics and things like that are really growing. So really to, to learn how to finance, how to manage you know, uh, the economy nowadays, I think it's a very good idea to study this master. And I think my course is also key for uh, being successful in the future. Okay, this is a key point. Well, I'm, uh, I'm pitched in economics, but at the same time, I've worked all my life in finance, in banking, uh, to be concrete, in Banco Santander, right? So, well, the, the way I teach is that I try to show the key things uh, of the theory, but after, of course, I mean, everything must be related to the practice, you know, to experience, to the real world. The industry nowadays uh, wants the people to understand markets, to understand risk management. Risk management has been always key for manage, managing a bank, but nowadays it's even more, you know. All the regulations, all the basal regulations, everything is related to how to improve risk management in banking. Why? Because we want to avoid what happened uh, with the Lehman Brothers uh, crisis starting in 2008. Of course, I'm sure it's not, it's not gonna be <laughs> impossible, but I'm completely sure that nowadays banks are better than in the in the past but that improvement is coming because risk management has become much more uh, sophisticated and complex well um, talking about investment banking and commercial banking i think that we are coming back you know to the situation of uh, last century where uh, jp morgan or morgan warranty trust was divided into morgan stanley and jp morgan right so in the 90s, I was part of it, by the way, with the bank I was working for, uh, we have started all, uh, already to, you know, to merge both kind of banks, banking. Uh, nowadays, I think we are trying to go, to, to go back to the basics and separate investment and commercial banking. Having said that, commercial banking also requires people with deep knowledge in, in banking, in finance, in markets, and so on. Because on one side, uh, products that are sold to uh, individuals and to corporates 
are more complex nowadays than 20 years ago. And on the other side, the managing of these portfolios is very related to portfolio management. So commercial banking requires as well sophisticated people. And of course, investment banking as well. Investment banking requires people that are more keen on risk management. You know, that is, that is an evolution from what happened at the end of the last century. So I think both kind of banks, you know, will require people with much, more, with much deeper knowledge, right? In finance and maths and statistics. <laughs>